teenagers in state custody. And we see how they stack up in our towel. The tape experience goes the way of right. Also three years the older, both men stand 5'9", both men weighted at 145.6 and a half inch reach advantage goes the way of Nate Landwehr. Right to his ranked as the number one bantamweight in Tennessee, moving up to featherweight here and receiving a fantastic ovation. Back up to you, Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout takes place in the XFC featherweight division. Let's meet the fighters. From the blue corner, he's a freestyle fighter. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, he weighed in 145.6 pounds. Tonight, he brings into the cage a professional record of one win and no defeats. Fighting out of Clarksville, Tennessee, and representing the Clarksville Fight Club, please welcome Nate the Train Landwehr. And his opponent standing across the cage in the red corner. He's a freestyle fighter, standing five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in 145.6 pounds. Tonight, he brings into the cage a professional record. Six wins, one defeat, and one draw. Tonight, he fights from Knoxville, Tennessee. Representing Knoxville MMA, please welcome Chris Super Duke, Super Cuta King, Ron. And when the action starts in our cage, our referee, Gary Copeland. All right, listen up, fighters. You both see your instructions in the back. Expect you to listen to my commands at all time. Have a clean, fair fight. Any questions out of you, Blue? How about you, Red? Let's talk to you about prepare to fight. The man who plies a trade is a police chief, Gary Copeland, in charge of refereeing duties for this one. It is Chris Wright taking on the undefeated Nate Landwehr. As we kick off XFC 20 high octane, Wright comes in the favourite, minus 240. Landwehr on, plus 180. On, Thanks to Nick Kalik at BetOnFighting.com. Michael Chavello, Uriah Faber with you. Both been an orthodox start. Ooh. Kick off the back leg there from right to open up and puts out the jab. You can see that size difference. Nate definitely has a little bit of size on Chris. You know, Chris did come up and wait for this one, and it's definitely apparent. Both men are known as finishers. Chris Wright finished his opponent in five of his six wins so far. On the outside at the moment, circling counterclockwise. Outside leg kick from right. A clinch up for the first time. Underhooks here from Landwehr. From that small exchange we just saw, I feel that Nate has a slight advantage on the feet. Chris seems a little uncomfortable. He's trying to move a bit. And Nate seems to really be sitting down on his punch and throwing some heat. Chris Wright with a huge following here tonight. The fight for position against the Kays. They're both looking for underhooks. You can see the pummeling inside. We call this pummeling in Greco-Roman wrestling. And it's little movements that dictate who's in, in control here. Who's in the front headlock? Another submission attempt there from Chris Wright. Not yet two minutes down in this opening round, set for three. Nate's got to respect the fact that Chris has got his neck. There he gets it out. Nice knee to the upper left rib cage from Nate Landwehr. Wright just turns him around, looks to press him back against the cage and does so. The corner of Wright are calling for knees to the legs. Again, they're in here pummeling. You can see that both guys are jockeying for position. It's a lot of little things going on in there that you kind of got to understand. You know, dropping your hips, adjusting for position. It's, it's, it's an Fight off the cage, guys. Fight off the cage. And again, a right just. Don't hold the Trying short. To back Landwehr. Landwehr looking for a takedown. Now he backs right against the cage. Solid contest this one. Now opening fight of XFC 20. As Uriah said, both men looking for the superior position in the clinch. They go to ground for the first time. Inside half guard here. Landwehr. What does Wright do from here, Uriah? You know, he's doing a good job of at least threatening the throat, but he's got to look for a, a transition out of there. Right now, he's holding on. He needs to create space, use that cage to 
either flip position or look to ways to get space in, in separation so you can stand back up or reverse. Looking to execute a shoulder lock here with that left leg is right. Trapping that right arm. Watch of back of the head, Red. Watch that back of the head. Trying to curl around those punches and not strike the back of the head. A bit of a warning there from Gary Copeland. Two minutes remains in the first round now. Looks like he's trying to set up a go-go plot. If he puts that foot in front of the face, he's got a good position there. We've seen guys submitted with that. Far to between. But he's got it now. His, his go-go plot is in. It's underneath his neck. He's got his arm trapped. See his foot coming up around the neck. If you can pull down on the head. Watch back in the head. Keep it good. And apply pressure. There's a submission here. I think Nick Diaz got gummy with this. He did indeed in Las Vegas. I remember that one. Togo Plata attempt here from Chris Rudd after he had the omoplata, the shoulder lock, a few seconds before. Just got his space from there on top. He got out. Close guard now from Wright. Trying to sit up against the cage here, Chris Wright, with one minute 15 remaining in the first round. He's looking for that shoulder lock again here, is Wright. He's doing a good job of getting a, an angle with his hips. He's got to do that if he wants to threaten with any submissions. Now he's setting up for an arm bar. On top, he's got to stack the knees to his face. The bottom guy is trying to extend the arm and look for the sub. Chris Wright trying to finish the fight here in the opening round. And again, Landwehr is three. Looks to take the back of Wright, and Wright gets back to his feet. 45 seconds on the clock. Landwehr driving in some body Ooh. shots. There's a high knee. Overhooks here, and another knee from Landwehr. They no, turn go back towards the center of the cage. Hasn't been a lot of free-flowing striking in the stand-up in this round. Been a lot of clinching so far. It has been an active matchup. Really technical fight so far. It's just a little incremental positioning thing that are happening here. Jogging position. They keep switching against the cage, which is interesting. Nice knee to the inside thigh. Trying to cork it up there from Landwehr. Final 10 seconds of the opener. Good knee again to the inside left thigh. Just to that femoral artery. Clean and a popping right break. hand to end the first stanza. Good round to kick off XFC 20 High Octane here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Look, your right underhook is there. We gotta use our single leg to take him down, right? When you have your underhook deep here, just steer it down and catch that single. Let's put him on the deck. Here's an attempted submission. What he's doing here is he's bringing the leg over the shoulder and underneath the neck. It doesn't look like much, but it's really a lot of pressure on the shoulder. And if you pull down, you're, you're, you're going for a choke here. We've seen guys in the UFC utilize this, but it's really hard to finish. Back up. Tell me about me. Back up. Tell me about me. Knoxville Coliseum. Back up. We are ready for the second round Back between Chris Wright court. and Nate Landwehr. Round two, you ready, Blue? Round two, you ready, Red? Let's fight. Landwehr comes out of his corner strongly. Throws one two kangaroo up the center corridor. Outside guy kick, tagging jab from Landwehr. But he is carrying his chin high. Let's see if Wright can expose that. Wright going downstairs to the lead leg. And Landwehr calling him forward. And Wright tags him with the right hand. And they press up against the cage. Aggressive start there from Landwehr, you're right. Oh, oh big slam. He got him up. There it is. Goes to side control. Landwehr, big slam here in the second round. And then where it came out with just fire. He wanted to uh, set the tone he did. Working some elbows from side control. Here is Nate Landwehr trying to go to work on that left orbital bone. Now he gets the mount for the first time in the fight. What a start to this round. Wright's about to give his back and Landwehr wants to try and sink the joke. Have a strike to the ear. Oh, one between the eyes. Relentless here from Nate Landwehr. Look for the mounts again, but got caught inside a half guard. Punches like that will get the bottom guy moving. You know, it's it's one thing to sit there and, and try to th think about something. It's another thing when you get hit in the face and you got to move, and that's what happened there. Landwehr, who's gone up to a, another level here in the second round. The aggressor meter really turned on in his favor. Chris is doing the right thing about trying to dig an underhook here, but he's, he's not successful with it. Nate's sinking down and kind of 
uh, settling in. He's got some chokes available. He's got a, a what is it, a anaconda or a darce choke. Ooh, a bit of a kick there to the hamstring as Ron got back to his feet. Land here, thrusts out that jab. Wants to talk his hips a little more. Oh, he goes for the big kibosh! The high knee! Another takedown here from Landwehr! No, couldn't affect it for a second time. Good knee to the inside left thigh from Landwehr. Now goes for a double leg. Chris did a great job of threatening a choke, which stopped the takedown. If I were Landwehr, I'd back off and throw some more big bombs. He's having success with it. He's, he's the bigger, stronger guy. A little bit more seasoned on his feet as well. And we're dropping down to the legs again here. Two minutes 45 on the clock in the second Don't of three. This is exactly what his corner told him to do. Nate's corner told him to use that underhook and drop to a single leg, and that's what he's doing. Outside leg kick from Landwehr. Crush the jab again. High knee going for the meet and greet. Chance for the right knee here for Landwehr. And he sets it and throws it. Cork into the outside of the right thigh. Looking for another big takedown. It gets it into side control. He got caught though in the takedown. It did land where now out of that mount position now. He said he needs to kind of decide where he wants to go with this. He can do some damage or he can go for a submission. Looks like he's going to soften him up and there's the rear naked choke. He wants to sink a choke, still a long time remaining in this round. Landwehr gives up on it, he's going to soften him a little more. Tries to curl the left hand under the chin, and a second one from Landwehr. Now switches to the right glove. Oh, nice, looping the punches under the right armpit. Both two got caught on the forearm, but Landwehr is patient. Oh, slicing elbow, tried to fill his nose up. This is just aggression here from Nate. Landwehr. Landwehr is doing a great job of controlling on, position. Man, That's what's fight. making the difference right now. He's squeezing with his legs and he's controlling the bucks. And Landwehr, huge punch. This is going to be a Chris Wright with nowhere to go. Gary Copeland in. right on top of the action. Wright's got no answers. Wright doing everything wrong. Landwehr just pounding down on him. That's it, Big that's shots it. again. Good night, Irene. Second round. Nate Landwehr maintains his undefeated record. And that's a big win for the train. That's big, and I think it uh, says something about this guy as a, as a one or no athlete. It's obvious that he's been putting a lot of work over a lot of years. You can see why John Briscoe and the exit C have really talked up the skill of Nate Land, whereas a man they're grooming for big things in the featherweight division in the future. His pro record now, two and as we take a look again at that aggressive second round. And here we go with a big knee. I feel like he needed to set that up. He's hit big punches and use it to set up takedowns. There's the threat of a choke, which loosens up the takedown. Here again. This is where he's calling him out. He's saying, let's throw down. You want to throw down? Let's do it. But then he goes right back in for the clinch. And here again, he's controlling the hips by squeezing with the legs and just kind of riding out the, the bucks and throwing huge punches, and that was it. He took too much damage. Jubilation for Nate Landwehr. Devastation for Chris Wright. Landwehr happy to play the heel role here to the crowd. Not exactly sure what happened. There was uh, yeah during the replay scuffle we showed, There's someone getting in the face of Landwehr. It may be part of Chris Wright's corner, not happy with the actions of Landwehr and his celebration here, or maybe there were words exchanged and John Prisco had to, well, quite forcefully get someone out of the cage here. But Landwehr is jubilant as well he should be, and we're going to throw it up to Christopher right, James hey, to enter into too. the record books here. I love you up. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner at 3 minutes and 56 seconds of round number two by a TKO due to strikes, Nate the Train Landwind. Getting some boost from the crowd, and it's because of the, the scuffle that broke out. I'm not sure what happened.
I think the, the post-fight actions there, the celebrations of Landwehr were maybe a little over the top, but he's won, no doubt. It was a fantastic second round for him. He improved his record to 2-0. and oh. Can I do it off camera?